Looks like a great day to be out here razor climbing. Uh, we're on Mulcrocks Beach and we're just getting ready about uh, two and a half hours before super low tide. Uh, we're gonna get down there and try to get our limit. Be on our way up here, just to make the trip even more worthwhile, we thought we'd pick up some, uh, some mushrooms. So we, it's so easy to just find some public land, get in there and start um, trying to identify and learn what the different mushrooms are. You can get an app for that. We use Picture Mushroom. Today though was like super special because we found, let's see if I, look at that. That is an admirable boletus and it's like six inches across. It's super sweet. And then look at this, look at this. Look at that. This giant, giant cauliflower mushroom. We are so excited about that. Wow, look at the size of this cauliflower mushroom. They've already harvested half of it. Oh my goodness, it's fantastic. Look at that thing, whoa. <laughs> so we cut this thing into like little chunks that we could sort through and clean that this is just the craziest mushroom I mean, it's like it's more like dealing with like a living like pasta plant or something <laughs> it is a, a a mushroom and we got so much of this oh my goodness we are complete queen of the woods noobs here not sure what we're gonna do but uh we got a few shots at it to find something uh tasty so um now it's time to go Get some clams though. Look at that. Those rain clouds over there. Oh my goodness, the rain is just coming down. This looks like a great, great evening of razor clam digging. That's right. So many clams lower, right? Just gotta let the tide go up. We're hoping we can get our limit before the sun goes down and uh we didn't really bring a lot of headlamps. We kind of missed that. Um, usually, bring a headlamp for everyone. Um, wait, 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 wait. Right there, right there, right there. Where my finger is going, right there. Um, but uh, maybe too early in the tide cycle too. I see some people standing around. When you first out, walk down to the beach as the tide's coming out, you can see these little holes, these mounds. These are almost always sand shrimp. They're not razor clams. So, you know, if you were to sit here and dig these up, you'd be wasting your time. Razor clams are lower than the tide cycle. And so we come down here. Did you get any yet? Yeah, <clears throat> we're a little high in the tide cycle still because it's uh. Hey, Dad, can you your Yeah. It's uh, <clears throat> we got a lot of time still between out there. They're getting some though, look at that. He just got one five o'clock it actually should start start getting them nice yeah dig around the area where uh because there'll be more they like to cluster up yeah yeah look at the size of that one for today good job usually about a foot down You usually go about foot and a half, you know, kind of the two blink. To make sure you get them. Yeah, we got one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, there was another one right here. Right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's a beautiful one. It's a big one. Holy cow. Oh my God. It's like, wow. That's a jumbo. Look at the size of that. Jumbo, good job. Oh, oh right here, right here, right here. Right there. Oh simple. my goodness, that is such a small detail. Which one is that? Yep. Steve! 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 Come here! Look at this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just saw it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. There's another one. 
There he is. I'm getting in them guys. Oh. What did we cook with our with our catch? Raise your clam. Our Wait, start up, start over, start over. Bacon. Is, yeah. Followed by shallots. Whoa. Chanterelles and garlic. Oh my goodness. Chanterelles. Till it kind of reduces. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Added, uh, a little white wine. Yeah, looks awesome. Um, uh, a little parsley. Yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, put the bacon chopped up back in there. Yeah. And the razor clam. Oh my goodness. And we're going to do it over some pasta. We got pasta in this pot? We got pasta. That's going to be awesome. Oh man, I fogged up my... Hold on a second. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. It's kind of exploding. And we want to be doubly sure what we're eating, right, what the mushrooms we find uh, that we can eat are not gonna kill us. So uh, I like to use two or three different approaches to make sure that, uh, that you know, we have good results there. So here we go, we'll start with um, this app right here, Picture Mushroom. Um, <clears throat> this is a, a, you have to pay for this app. I don't get anything for promoting it, but uh, I just wanna show you real quick how easy this is. So, it, first we want a side view of it, right? Of our, uh, of our mushroom. Picked this yesterday, just been uh, drying them out a little bit, and then, then we want a bottom view, okay? <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> I got two views now, it's, it's, it's trying to identify it. Okay, here we go, waiting for a moment. <clears throat> Identifying, almost there. Golden chanterelle. I know that golden chanterelles can be eaten, and that is awesome. Golden chanterelle is one of the top culinary mushrooms in the world, beloved for its aroma. Mmm, smells apricotty. Yummy. Very good. All right, <clears throat> but that's not enough, right? That's not enough to make sure we have a good results. So I like to go over to <clears throat> Facebook as well, and I like to go over to PNW mushroom foraging identification. There we go. So, so I put this uh, cauliflower mushroom. I already verified it with the app, but uh, I want to put it on this PNW mushroom foraging and identification page because I'm not super familiar with the uh, the species of mushroom. <clears throat> so I want to put it there, and I got all these mushroom experts who are willing to comment and let me know and give me any concerns that I might have. Now I know that this is, I've picked a lot of chanterelles, I know this is a chanterelle, so I may just use the, uh, the, the mushroom identification app as my tell, but for new specimens, I wanna be doubly sure. All right, so in addition to using app and Facebook, you really wanna have probably a third strategy too, which is what a lot of mushroom experts will tell you, uh, just eat a little bit of it, right? Only a small bit of it, wait 24 hours, uh, if you've got a positive ID on Facebook uh, from some experts, you got positive ID uh, from your picture uh, mushroom app, and uh, and you want to just go in a little bit. That's a safer way than cooking like your favorite meal, thinking, "Oh, this is a great mushroom," and then you've eaten a ton of it, and maybe uh, maybe you end up in the hospital or worse. So. Uh, just some thoughts about for newbie foragers, how to get started. Uh, I, I've spent way too long not picking chanterelles uh, and enjoying these things because I was afraid of, uh, you know, getting sick or something. And I, I didn't know it was this easy. So, uh, you know, got to use good judgment, and, uh, but, but you can do it. And it's, a, it's an awesome, rewarding experience for you and the whole family, getting some mushrooms, bringing them back, cooking them up, and having a great meal.